Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, I want to show you keyboard shortcuts that can speed up your workflow inside Google Drive. Let's check it out. So to find a list of the keyboard shortcuts available in Google Drive, there's a gear icon right up here, and that's the settings. If we click on it, it'll open this pop-up window with keyboard shortcuts currently here on the second item. If we click that, it's going to bring up a window with all of the available keyboard shortcuts sorted by popular keyboard shortcuts. And as you scroll down, you see there are plenty more. Now, I like using keyboard shortcuts because it really helps navigate through my Google Drive as well as create documents quickly without having to go through context menus or even having to click anywhere at all. And remembering these keyboard shortcuts has really saved me a lot of time. Now, remember, Google Drive is like a virtual computer. So these keyboard shortcuts are for managing your files while you're inside of Google Drive. The documents, slides, spreadsheets, and drawings are like applications, and those have different keyboard shortcuts. So Google Drive is more like Windows Explorer or Finder, and there's lots of keyboard shortcuts that you can use inside of those with your operating system to, for example, create new folders, move files, create shortcuts, etc. And Google Drive offers plenty of them as well. The ones I find myself using most often are the ones for creating new documents. So if I just start by typing docs in this search here, I can see create document is shift plus T. I remember that by thinking if I want to create text, it's T, shift T. Now control is used most of the time by your operating system or your browser for keyboard shortcut commands. So Google Drive is going to take advantage of the shift key most of the time. So for creating a new document, I can hold down shift and push T and it's going to open a new tab with that untitled document ready to go. It's the same for drawings. Shift D for drawings. It's going to open up a new drawings document in a new tab. Shift P is for Google Slides or presentations. Shift S is for a spreadsheet. And you can find all of these in the keyboard shortcut list. If I scroll down to the create heading, you can see we're creating new folders, documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and drawings. Here are all the keyboard shortcuts. And those I use a lot. With a shift F, I can create a new folder, give it a name right away. I'll call it drive. And if I go inside that folder, all of the shortcut keys that I'm going to use for creating new documents. So if, if I wanted a new drawings document, shift D, it's going to create those documents in the folder that I'm already in. So whatever folder I happen to be focused in and use those shortcut key commands for creating new documents, that's where it's going to place those documents. Taking advantage of these shortcut key commands has really saved me a lot of time and has made me a lot speedier at navigating through my Google Drive and creating files much more quickly. And I hope that it helps you too. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.